Hi Aries, welcome to your daily read for December the 30th, Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, getting close to the end of the year here, we just had the full moon in Cancer. Very emotional, um, people definitely feeling their feelings and also wanting to be comforted, you know, expressing how they feel, deep emotions. Fourth house energy has to do with family, safety, security. And when there's a full moon, if it's intensified, you could feel like your things aren't fair. Um, like you could feel like you're threatened. There could be fear with the fourth house full moon. Um, but then it it's gone. Like it releases after the full moon is over. And that's the point of the full moon. Um, you raise up the energies and release it, and then you move forward. So I'm wearing an Andara. I wore it to bed and slept in it <laughs> to keep my vibration high because I was dealing with a lot of people with emotions coming towards me, and it was like all emotions. And I was like, oh, okay, just a lot of emotions that were overwhelming for people. So let's see, what's coming in for Aries for today, Wednesday the 30th? And in my opinion, the Andara with clear quartz raises your vibe. It's paired with obsidian, so it will help you stay grounded too. But it raises your vibe so that you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and also to keep negative vibrations away from you, which is like negative people. So let's see, Aries, Aries. And it's on my website for sale. Page of Cups, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio Energy coming towards you with a message. Could be a message of love, sweetness, kindness. Could be a water sign person. Okay, so we have the energy of Magician, Gemini energy. Now, it could be manipulation. Because the Page of Cups is very sweet and innocent. And then we have a magician. But it could be manifesting your reality. You know, maneuvering the energies and the resources around you to make something happen. We have an Ace of Cups here influencing a new beginning, a new potential for emotional fulfillment. So a new beginning in either love, but something that has to do with the way that you're going to feel. So it could be friendship. It could be something else, um, but it has to do with feelings. We have an Ace of Coin, though, crowning you. So this Ace of Coin, the two Aces flew out together. So there's some kind of new beginning that is tangible and real. It could have money involved. It could be a job offer. Because it's something here that you you manifested or maneuvered or you sent out the resumes you did something to make this happen another ace an ace of fire a creative spark energy creative passion in the recent past to bring about this new beginning so we're coming into the new year so we just had the last full moon of the year so we're closing out a cycle and starting in with fresh new energy page of air now a lot of readers have been getting page of air for Aries and I think it's about somebody watching you or observing but it could also be somebody challenging you it's a messenger but it's um, somebody who challenges you but it could be just a message like communication like a small message, like a text. We have a Six of Cups, could be past energy, um, someone you knew from the past, but it could also be, your energy is coming up as Six of Cups, nostalgic, thinking about the past, thinking about when you were younger. We have the Hangman here in your environment, Major Arcana for taking a pause. 
um, it's a major arcana for waiting, being made to wait. And as you're waiting, you have an awakening. So the pause is necessary. So you're hoping for coming up in your hope or fear is the death. You're hoping for either a Scorpio or change. An ending and a new beginning or a major train, like transformation change. You're hoping for this. Could be your fear too. We have here the chariot. So we have a victory through determination and willpower moving forward with a lot of momentum. Okay, so what is the chariot energy about here? We have all these aces. We have the page that delivers the message of the ace coming in. And then we have, you know, there could be somebody manipulative around you, but I don't think with the hangman here, there's nothing really happening with that. What is the chariot? What is the chariot for Aries? Chariot for Aries. Okay. Wow. So I got a Knight of Cups. More water. More emotions. Somebody bringing you the invitation of expressing how they feel. And it's more than a page. It's more than just like a message. It's more like a reaching out and asking you to be with them or join them somewhere or do something. Okay, Knight of Cups comes in with the Chariot. Cancer energy. So what is the Page of Swords here? Okay, so you're kind of blocking with this Nine of Wands. This could be somebody who's a challenge, like they're very petty. It could be gossip too, but um, I don't really see gossip. I just see somebody who could be testing you, testing your patience, and you're blocking that person. What is the Six of Wands? Water energy again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Six of Cups. A person coming back from the past. We have water energy here. Compassion, love. It could be you towards them, but it could be them towards you too. So what is the Nine of Wands? Queen of Air, so you see see them as almost like a threat or something, like I'm protecting myself against you. What is the Ace of Coin? What is the Ace of Coin? Ace of Coin for Aries. So we have the Devil. Could be a Capricorn. Could be something, hmm. What is the shadow side? What is the devil here? Six of Pentacles. Could be tempting. Could be material. Like a lot of material, money, wealth. Um, could be somebody toxic, to be quite honest. It could be a toxic person who wants to reach out to you again. They want to connect. And um, that can happen with a Saturn return to Aquarius as well. Uh, Saturn is about reputation and achievement, and it could be public, so somebody could be feeling scorned by you or left out by you with the hangman, and so they're trying to push their way back in, and you're like, could be a water sign, and there's an energy of blocking. Okay, so what is the hangman in the environment? That could be somebody who's fantasizing about you, like they're thinking about you a lot. Six of Pentacles. So it's the person who will be give towards you. Wheel of Fortune. Good luck and good fortune. Wow, Two of Cups. Maybe they've changed. They want to partner with you now. Not always. <laughs> So what is this Ace of Cups about? 
what is the ace of cups about yeah four of cups like you're kind of like not wanting this cup even though it's being offered um they're trying to offer you 50 50 like a balance like here you go i'll pay you to keep the balance however what i've thought with the nine of wands is that and a page of swords it can be immaturity page of swords but the person wants more they want more because you go into fight mode like they want more than what you're giving they want to connect they want to connect they want to be maybe like a committed relationship or a long-term friendship or a business partner and you're kind of like not ready like no maybe they had some toxic issues in the past okay this could even be at work eight of pentacles just flipped it's like somebody you don't trust who constantly wants to reconnect what is the chariot Temperance, patience, balance, needing to temper your emotions. What is the Knight of Cups? Oh my gosh. Wow. This is Nine of Swords. So it's like somebody who perhaps feels bad. They can feel bad or you, they cause you a headache. We have a Ten of Pentacles here. Could be a family member. Okay, what is the Page of Swords again for Aries? Four of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to bring you an offer, but I feel like you're just, you're being cautious. It could be that they come so quickly with the Chariot that you're not ready or you, you don't want it. It might not be enough. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Or Three of Swords. So they feel bad. I think this person feels bad. They want to come back and try. What is the Four of Cups? Four of Pentacles. Again, like you're holding back. You're saying no. You're, you're not sharing. You're not accepting it. You know, and it could be an apology. I was thinking it's an apology here because the magicians in the cross manipulation. So somebody wants to apologize. What is the temperance energy? Could be any Sagittarius. I don't think so. I think it's that you need to be patient. Queen of Wands. Yeah, they could light your fire. Fire sign queen make you sort of take charge could be any could be a Sagittarius so because we're all different and there's a lot of stories that could be going on for many of the signs or many of the people here um, it could be different for a lot of people or it could be the same but what is the outcome of this reading here for Wednesday the 30th ace of cups so there's this ace of cups coming in a new potential for love happiness healing good feelings emotional fulfillment it's delivered by a page of cups through a messenger it's an offer of an ace of coin something tangible and real however they come in also as there's page of swords energy which is a challenge you're in six of cups mode where you want to be friends you want to be pleasant and have harmony with the person you're being compassionate the person around you is in the hangman mode they're stuck or they're going through an awakening they come towards you again here's this page of cups 
look at this. They want, they could possibly want a commitment from you, seven of pentacles and ten of pentacles. They're waiting, ten of pentacles. They're waiting for this deep commitment from you. And I feel like you're, you're like, no, because Aries is very independent, you know? So what is the four of cups here with the four of pentacles? Eight of Swords. It could be making you feel trapped. And there's a Four of Swords. So I feel like you're trying to stay balanced. Seven of Wands. You're telling you're telling them to back off. It did come up with devil energy. What is the devil? Empress. Somebody who could have a lot of material resources, money, and abundance. Could be a mother or a parent. Hmm. Wow, so there's some kind of a major change here, the death card. And then we have here riding in on the horse of victory, six of wands, and four of wands, the stable happy home. So things stabilize. Hmm. Okay. There's a new year, a new beginning, new potentials are all around you. <clears throat> but there's somebody here who's considering, like they're not sure, but they, they want to have a long-term commitment with you or, or a long-term connection. Like, I'm here for years. I'm going to be your best friend forever. And you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. Contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Good. Aries is very independent. They'll, you know, father healing, personal power increases as you give father related issues to heaven. <clears throat> friendship. So focusing on harmony and friendship with another person. I feel like, because that's coming up as your energy, Six of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Concentrating on being friendly and kind and, you know, friendship, but not more than that. Not like full on, you know, unless that's what you're wanting, but I mean, because basically there's potentials all around you, but somebody comes in, they want a full connection with you, like a soul connection. And you came up with a lot of defensive energy, but also with the energy of friendship, too. So, like, you'll be friends with them, but there's a boundary there, like, you know. So, uh, I'm going to leave it here for you, Aries. Thank you for watching your daily reading, and take care.